and welcome back to part 12 of Murder on Maradonos. That's a great intro. I didn't screw that up at all. And the Outer Worlds, where we left off, we had found a little mischievous milk mechanical milking toxic canids for the fun of it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if she just wasn't a very good get moving? hacker or if, you know, it was an accident. I don't know. Uh, with that, we finally found the Prophet of Profitability's hideout. I, I mean, uh, not hideout. It's uh, an emporium. I don't know what you'd call this. It looks pretty much like an old bunker. So, without further ado, let's get in there and find out where the candy is in Candy Canyons. So, without further ado, do let's... Uh, <laughs> Uh, on my outro, I, I happened to just take a look, and we've got some tracks. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Yeah, whose footprints are these? What? Is that Felix's head? Felix? Uh, a semi-recent set of tracks in the dirt stands out from the dead leaves. Identifying human footprints leading oh. out into the wilderness. It is unusual for productivity disciples to wander more than a few feet from the camp. They're not mine, are they? Scanning. No. No traces of aether dust, blood, or dimethyl sulfoxide found. <laughs> Judging by footprint depressions and shoe size, these prints were either made by the Prophet of Profitability or Adjutant Sophia Akande. Error. Recalibrating. These footprints were made by the Prophet of Profitability. Interesting. We looked you, uh. Your hair looks nice. So. Hmm. Why was the profit of profitability out here? Detected nearby. And don't interrupt me this time, silly. Detected additional tracks belonging to the profit of profitability. Ah. Okay. Oh, look at this little guy. He's just a plump one. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Detected additional tracks belonging to the profit of profitability. Yep. Okay, do I need the... I, I'm sorry, I'm a completionist? I don't know. I, did they go away forever after you scan them once? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Detected additional tracks belonging to the profit of profitability. Timeline discrepancy detected. Judging by the oh. shape of this indentation in the dirt, a person of medium height and build laid here for a number of hours, scanning for other details. Only additional signs of disturbance are... A few marks in the dirt. Am I imagining things, or does it seem like whoever was dumped here got up? No sign of struggle or evidence of wildlife consumption of body. Suspected likelihood of user correctness, 86%. Could be this was specifically set up to throw us off the trail. Let's be careful, amplifier. Hmm. Interesting. Nothing out that way. Nothing this way. And I bet I can't get around this. Nope. Sure can't. Uh, I don't really want to fall off the side of this non-planet. So let's go back this way. So was that all just to throw me off the trail? Interesting. To say the least. Whoa, somebody was hanging out here. Ah, Spectrum Red. Always a red choice. Anything out this way? Uh, no. Okay, let's go in. Huh. <laughs> All right. I'm, you know, my feet are just, I got them goop feet, you know. They don't do me right. Okay, we're in. Wow, there's candles everywhere. Why is there candles everywhere? Those aren't full of, like, smelly uh, game authentic. Captain, what is this place, and why is everybody acting so strange? Uh, oh, law. They ain't cannibals, right? I don't know. Last time they were. Um, hello? 
By imagining wealth, I can evoke prosperity out of the universe. What the heck is going on here? Is she turning them into nomads? Uh, let's do a bit of snooping first. Any notes in here? I'm sure she's up to something. Just listen to the ambient music. She's got to be up to something. What do we got here? Project End Notice. Notice to all employees working in holy caves. Oh. Uh, we regret to inform you that this atmospheric complex now belongs to Sublight Underground. Under the terms of our new intercorporate agreement, all Rizzo's employees remaining in the complex will be viewed as corporate spies by Sublight Underground. Of course they would be. While you remain here, you will not be under Rizzo's protection, nor will you be paid for your con any continued work. Please report to Rizzo property for Rizzo's property for processing. Failure to comply will result in termination either by Sublight Underground or by Rizzo's fixers. Of course. Please refrain from misusing company resources to continue to survive. Thank you. Wow. So thoughtful. You! Stop that! What? What do you think you're doing? Uh, penitent disciple? Um, I was just leaving. I suppose I can look away this time. Uh-huh. It's because I'm so cute. You just can't say no. All right. I guess there's nothing else in here for me to misappropriate. Uh, okay, there's a fire indoors. Um, guys, we need to talk about having a fire indoors. You know what? It's it's probably fine. There's a vent there. Blowing. Um. Okay. I think there's anything in here that I can scan? A doodle do. What? Come on down. We. Is that a skull? Why is there a skull with a candle on it? Well, you know, I just uh, it doesn't look like anybody needs that. Nicely done. Thank you. Okay, another thing I want to point out that I like about this game: when you steal an item, it's not marked as stolen because it doesn't like say anything on there that it's stolen. Nice touch, guys. I appreciate. Okay, so is that a toaster? No, it's a radio. That looks like a toaster. Alrighty. Just a regular old pocket watch. Regular old lighter. I still don't understand or even under I just can't comprehend how they even got this many candles. Where did they get the candles from? Hmm. Don't mind if I have me a Rizzo's. So, where did they get all these skulls? Okay. Oh, I didn't, I didn't search that last room. I know he didn't say beep, 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 but, you know, just in case. Where does this go? Oh, boy. Hey, guys. Bam! I'm assuming, because I can't see. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to make you smile. Did that person explode? I'm sorry, Felix. Or was that just me blowing up stuff on him? Okay, what do we got here? That's cool looking. Is this part of the zoo? Is that what this is supposed to be? I thought this was a bunker. Hello. Geolo geolo geological. There it is. Survey notes. Words. Okay, words are hard. The world is beautiful beyond compare. I can see colors I never imagined existing. Oh. Um, 
The sky has a voice and it's singing to me. I see the truth now. I see everything so clearly, so perfectly. The storms of, on, of Eridanos are notes in the great cosmic uh, orchestra. The stars are the ch choir <laughs> of the universe. And every word they sing is joy. I can't seem to stop smiling. I don't want to stop smiling. Ever. Okay. So, you got a dopamine worm on you. Is that a finger? That's a finger. Chief of Savages Severed Finger Index Finger. The index finger of Chief of the Savages, bitten off by one of the followers as they finally turned on him. Or, uh, as dissidents always do. Uh huh. Not wanting to permanently injure, then. Celebrity Spencer Woolrich and lacking the resources to create an artificial finger for the scene where it was lost, the director of Terron Monarch had security remove the index finger of one of Woolrich's understudies you now hold in your hand. Wow. Can I take that back with me? No. Nope. Uh, of course, because why would Woolrich give up one of his fingers? He's too good for that. Why is that here? Is it just a collection item that somebody wanted to keep? What do we got here? Ooh, yeah. Um, let's see. Just doing a quick scan, yo. You look really spooky, Parvati. The lighting, just the lighting. There's an elevator. Okay, this all looks pretty normal. Well, let's in examine this room here. I see a terminal. What you got for me, terminal? Give up the goods. Give it to me, gummy. Rizzo's communication terminal. Warning: supervisor clearance. Supervisor clearance required. Ex accessing this terminal without supervisor clearance will result in an informal reprimand. Rizzo's requires that any informal reprimands must be brought to the attention of your supervisor and will result in a formal reprimand. Of course, happy customers are repeat customers. Open last entry. Uh, Dear Amir Zhao, uh, this is to inform you that Rizzo's has been notified of your expiration due to uh, one or more of the following causes, violent physical trauma, accidental encounter with the local fauna, severe psychological reaction, oh, physiological reaction to company and or company adjacent products, destruction of company property. Uh -huh. After careful review, Rizzo's Office of Human Resources has approved the dissolution of your indenturement contract in an accordance with Rizzo's company law, your closest rel living relatives will be rewarded with the following. One regulation size crate of Rizzo Spectrum Brown to be delivered within six to eight weeks of product launch. Please note that as a gesture of gratitude for your service, your shipping and delivering fees have been waived. Oh, thanks. Your work on behalf of the Rizzo's geological survey team has proved invaluable in the development and upcoming launch of Rizzo's Spectrum Brown. Thank you for your part in the Rizzo's family. This is an automated message. Responses to this message have been disabled. Uh, yeah. All right. Query on supervisor clearance. Hack 45. Access usage records. Supervisor clearance. Data corruption detected. Usage inaccessible. Uh, now generating error report. Error. There's an error report corrupted. Uh, fail safe protocol activated. Now dumping memory contents. Dump successful. Access? Yes. Uh, now printing memory contents. Takata, uh, Buke, Omina's. Oh, I don't have the hack. Hold on. Let's change that. <laughs> Let's see. Mind altering drugs. And personality attributes.
Aha. Uh, uh, isolate passcode. There we go. Memorize the passcode. Oh boy. Uh, 5C8 Lakavi uh, 146207 Bjork. Good luck. It's Cavill 4622. Thanks. Yeah, I, I got there. I got there. Um, so, wait. Was that. Oh, I see. I just. I got the password. Okay. Let's, uh, put our gear back on. You know what? Eh. We'll rock the purple berry crunch. Mascot guy with a face. Okay. What do we got in here? Are those sprat carriers? Or some sort of animal carrier? This seems a little caved in, guys. Hmm. Why, yes, I will take those. Nice. Thanks. I worked real hard at it. What do we got here? Um. Ah, there we go. I tried to put my ear to the side. In game. Oh, let's see where this goes. Oh, I thought it went down. How you guys doing? Whoa. What am I looking at? Uh, is this a different entrance? You know what? Let's use this one. Hey, buddy. Hello. Ah, uh, that's very effective. What is this place? Is this part of the tunnels? Parasite egg pod? Is that a quest item? Oh, also, I am a dummy and didn't even read the data pad we got on Helen's... So let's inspect it. The contents of this data pad are incomprehensible to you. I wonder if I was smarter, maybe I could read it. Uh, it seems to be written in code. Several pages of unrelated words, sentences, fragments, and seemingly random numbers conceal its true meaning. Okay. Well, this is Parasite Egg Pod. You, this vaguely gelatinous egg pod contains a parasite native to Eridanos, still in its larval stage. The egg pod pulses at the touch. Oh, my. And, oh, we got this. Nice. And those key cards. I thought we stashed them. We didn't even stash them. We just kept them. Wow. That's kind of great. Okay, well, that's something. Um, wonder what those will do. Hey, buddy. Owie, that might have hurt me more than uh, I expected. Well, let's clear it out. Um, I feel like I should be switching to this guy every once in a while just to make sure I got nothing to view. Whoa, what do we got here? Pick up geological survey notes. Um, corporate authorized the name Eridinium Gigans Gigaseus. Gygaseus? I think that's Gygaseus? I don't know. To describe this life form, once we determine whether the creature is vi a viable flavoring agent, oh, confection, ingredient, or drinkable after fermentation, Rizzo's company branding department will provide a more consumer-friendly name. The life form is a parasite. Dissection reveals that it's complete, incomplete system of rudimentary internal organs. Uh, a half creature and an unfinished accident of orthogenesis. Uh, but how can this be? Eridanos is hostile to all life forms. Parasitism uh, implies a rich biological diversity. I theorize that Eridanium gigaseus is not truly uh, endemic to the Eridanos planet, um, but was created in organic waste of the same terraforming system that operates an atmospheric complex. Oh. Continuing my investigation, more reports to follow. Happy to be part of the Rizzo's family. Dr. Amir Zhao, 
uh, team biologist, Rizzo's Department of Geological Survey and Territorial Expansion. Well, that is interesting because, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, that's just a bunch of bodies, just, um, and these are a bunch of eggs. Oh, I'm getting alien isolation vibes now. Woof. All right, just going to do a check doodle do here. We already cleaned that worm of its life. Okay, let's go this way first. Delivery! <laughs> Smush! Good job, Parvati. There you go, Felix. Get you some. Oh, it's a big boy. Sorry, guys. Thanks. I mean, you did most of it. Okay. There's a jelly. Mega Canids always got goodies. Um, make sure there's no data pad here. Just a bunch of bones. So, nothing this way, right? Okay. No, I think we're good. And that's where we came in. So let's go this path here. To the left, to the left. And switch this area. Catch. All right. I try you. Yeah. Boom. All right. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry, Farvati. You. Fire. Everyone all right? I think so. I only lit you on fire a lot. I'm sorry about that. I could hit the side of a barn if it was the only thing I could see. I don't need a pickaxe. Thanks, though. Nothing exciting in here. Okay. Where's Felix? Does anybody know where Felix is? Ah, Felix. Okay. Just checking on you, buddy. Um, lab protective monocle? Is that, uh... Oops. I'll get there. Not unique. Okie doke. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, just a regular grenade launcher. Oh, dang. It'd probably be pretty good. Here we go. Uh, discovered several fascinating qualities of Aerodinium. Gygaceous? Gygaceous? Ah, I don't know. First, the parasite's internal biology is, for lack of a better term, highly modular. An elaborate system of organe organelles, organelles? Um, nerve endings, blood vessels, and hormone receptors exist inside its flesh. Um, when attached to a suitable host, the parasite behaves like a biological extension, a metaphor. Imagine shoving a bypass shunt into a terminal, and the shunt is the parasite. The terminal is the host. Uh, okay, so it's hackable? Uh, second, the parasite's nervous system houses a string of kernel-like cells capable of receiving and transmitting neurons. What are the implications? Thought manipulation? Thought control? Definitely. Third, I've noticed an ambient reverberation uh, in the parasite's nervous systems during periods of intense electrical activity in the Eridanos atmosphere. The larger specimens display a greater sensitivity. There is a direct correlation between the complexity of the parasite's nervous system and its size. Fourth, there seems to be no upper limit to the size of these parasites. I theorize that these caverns may have housed a particularly large specimen. Oh, great. Uh, in accordance with this company policy, begin uh, beginning taste ingestion test now. May the law protect our, my atoms. Oh, no. That's that's not good. So, is this... Uh, uh, how old is this? Is, uh, are we going to find Amir? Or Zhao here? 
Is this the dead end? This looks like a dead end. Okay. Well, let's go back. And up this way. I don't see any more data pads. Why, hello. What? Where did it... Ah! Good job, Parvati, I think. Nothing personal, I swear. No, no. Uh, just following orders. Okay, that thing just hopped into the ground and bounced out. Can I... Oh, I want to melt those so bad. Hello. You wore out there, Felix? Just... Man, so many bodies everywhere. Where do they even get this amount of people? All right, there's that way. Let's make the loop here. Excuse me. Uh, everyone all right? Yep. Oh my gosh, this place is sprawling. So that's the way, the other path. Um, don't see any other data pads, so I guess we can move on. And away we go. Wow, this place is huge, man. Will we make it back out? Transition to Eridanos. Well, let's see where this takes us. Um, I hear worms. I wonder what they use this bunker for. We're going to go back in and find out. So let's take a look at the map. No, 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 no. You don't see me. Woof. There's plenty of them. So. Oh, we're right out here. Okay. Well, let's go back in. Because I don't feel like murdering those things. So. Let's wind all the way back. Hopefully nothing respawns. So we got some eggs. Interesting. There's no data pads up here, is there? No. Okie doke. Back to the bunker! So, uh, how you guys feeling about Eridanos? Pretty, pretty normal for us. Death and destruction. No, the, the usual. But we're inspectors now. That's cool. Oh, right. Finger room. Okay. What's this room? Oh, hello. Prophet, disciple daily schedule. 5 a.m. Oh, well, I'm assuming it's a.m. Awaken. Uh, 5 to 12. Praise the prophet. Listen to the prophet. Uh, sweat house meditation uh, from noon to 2. Uh, 2 to 2.02. 2. You have two minutes to eat lunch. Wow. 2.02 2 to 4. Hot, cold training. What? Uh, 4 to 5. Stomach purging. Is that throwing up? Dinner. 5 to 5.02. Two minutes again. Uh, 5.02 to 6. Purging. Uh, 6 to 8. Medical attention. Uh, 8 to 10. Clean the retreat. Uh, 10 to 12. Beatings by profit. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, one minute of free time. And uh, midnight 01 to 2. Disciples choice. Self flag. Flag. Flagulation or meditation on productivity, followed by no food next day and sleep. Wow. Okay, well, the profit of profitability is starting to uh, get on my bad side already. Is uh, Where does this go? Chrono Field Aggregator? That's nice, actually. 
this is just a storage room? This is the other half. A backpack. Weapon parts, a hatchet, uh, all things you would use to mine. Okay. It's all in the wrist. Yeah, it is. Well, mostly the fingers and the maglock. Oh yeah, some good mods here. You guys need mods. Though by the time you're here, I suspect you won't need anything. All right, so we've been on the other side of that. We've come and seen. Now, let's uh, go up here. That's the door in. Here we go. Alia Mason? Elia? Alia? Uh, she said I must burn away the old me in order to be transferred. What is going on here? Hey, look, a workbench. She got that guy running laps. Okay, I put the tech skills mod back in because that's what I thought. Oh my. Uh, okay. Oh, guys, we got a special butt, uh, weapon. Utter buddy. Uh, it's one handed melee. Uh, used to tighten a specific hard to see bolt on a Happy Dale Farms milking assemblies. Oh. Uh, this wrench is strangely, strongly magnetic. Uh, just stick it near the bolt, and the re wrench seats itself. That's not terrifying. Well, we'll have to give that a good old swing. And then the pen. Uh, shotgun. I didn't even know we got this either. The pen is mightier than the sword, especially this one. It's uh, notary's best friend. Yeah, I bet. Wow, that's a lot of damage for a shotgun. And the clapper, we know about that one. Force Magnum, I don't know when we got that. It turns out that you can't have too much of a good thing. That's, well, that's true. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey, Alia Mason? Hello. Welcome to the Prophet of Profitability's Private Prosperity Retreat. Stay positive, and soon all your humors will be balanced. Least, that's what I keep telling myself. Uh, anyway, I'm Alia, Alia Mason. I work as the Prophet's right-hand woman. What can I do for you? Uh, well, what can you tell me about the retreat? If you felt imbalanced and non-productive, linger in your malaise no longer. We have all the amenities and practices for calming the ill humors strangling your potential. Sit for hours in our sweat house and sweat them out. Or stand amidst burning coals and feel your productive inhibitions burn away. And remember, think positive. Positivity equals productivity equals profitability. Uh-huh. Uh, do you know the prophet well? Of course. I've been studying under her for years. I know each of her techniques more or less by heart, and even have some variations of my own, such as the quintuple daily stomach purges. She's promised me that I'd be allowed to open my own branch of the retreat someday soon. Of course, I've been waiting on someday soon for coming up on four years now. I'm sure it's gonna happen any time now i'm sure it won't uh for a positivity disciple you sound a little less than enthused oh terribly sorry if i gave you that impression i had a cramp it's better now i mean it might be nice if i had a little inclination of whether the prophet appreciated all the cooking and cleaning and hours of meditation i do on a daily basis but whatever she thinks isn't for me to question I'll do my best to be more chipper. You know, you could probably just uh, go do something better with your life, I think. Uh, I was hired to look into Halcyon Helen's murder. Uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Oh, my. Yes, this is important enough for me to delay my bi-hourly self-flagellation. Ask away. Ah, have you noticed any unusual behavior in the retreat lately? Well, by and large, no. But... Something rather odd did happen regarding the Prophet recently. A few hours after our high-profile visitor arrived a couple of days ago, the Prophet asked me to take over sessions for the remainder of the day. At first, I was excited. 
Thought it was my chance to show her what I could do in charge. But then I saw that she was deeply worried about something. No one saw her until the next day. Interesting. The Prophet had some kind of feud with Halcyon Helen, right? Yes, the circumstances there are quite unfortunate. For a time, the Prophet was completely despondent. Even the hot coal walks weren't buoying her spirits as they usually do. However, we recently had a high-profile visitor whose presence seemed to alleviate whatever the Prophet's fears were. Hmm. Spencer Woolrich, I assume. Oh, you must have misheard me. I said high profile, <laughs> not had profile. Mr. Woolrich comes by much too often to be worth mentioning. Wow. Okay, then who was it? I'm actually not entirely certain. It was a surreptitious visit that stood out because it was surreptitious. Whoever it was must have paid the Prophet quite a lot to keep things quiet. At least that's the only reason I can think of for intentionally keeping things so hush-hush. Interesting. Okay, where were you at the time of the murder? I was here, at the retreat in the company of the other disciples and clients. I rarely have more than a few minutes of alone time. Which is fine, of course. I do what I do in the service of the Prophet. Who will, I'm sure, reward me for my sacrifice? Eventually? Yeah, I doubt that. Um, that's all for now. Certainly. Thanks for your help. Actually, before you go, I want to report something suspicious. Oh. I noticed the Prophet dragging something, a bundle, away from the retreat after that high-profile guest arrived. Normally, I'm the one who does her laundry. So it was strange. Especially because whatever she was dragging seemed oddly... human-shaped. Interesting. I think I saw that out there. Uh, could... So, you sure it was a body, or...? I... I think so. Had the right size and shape. Couldn't you have brought this information forward a little earlier? I could have, but I generally don't have the time or energy to leave the reserve to contact anyone. Plus, there's always the possibility that I'm mistaken. The Prophet hasn't been herself lately, but if I misinterpreted the situation and reported her improperly, I'd ruin my chances for opening my own wing of the retreat. Yeah, I'll look into it. Maybe... Maybe look into a different job. Well, hi there, disciples. Here we go. It's time. Uh. Oh, I guess there's a hole in the top. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Wrong weapon. What do we got here? Is it on the outside? Hold on now. Where is it? Ah! The bundle. Analysis suggests this to be a variety of herbs. Herbs have been uniformly treated with a pungent chemical mix. Warning. Ingesting, smoking, or inserting non-corporation sanctioned substances into your ears may be harmful to your health. Uh, well, might as well taste them. The <coughs> Ooh, those are really potent. Though the dry herbs are difficult to chew, <laughs> the flavor is less bitter than you would have expected. It's woodsy, uh, like tripicale with a uh, singed aftertaste. It's actually slightly better tasting than your average can of salt tuna. Um, so, are most boots. Hypothesizing potential side effects from herb consumption. Most likely outcome, decapitation. Slight possibility of calculation error. Decapitation, huh? Uh, discrepancy amplifier. Burning these would generate some pretty toxic smoke, I think. Side effects from extended exposure include dizziness, nausea, and unconsciousness. Additional likelihood of organ shutdown and or death. I wonder if that's how that body got out there. Can you analyze the chemical these herbs are treated with? Analyzing complete. Substance appears to be a mix of industrial solvents and various essential oils. Substances include woolly cow dander remover, sprat oil, and starship surface wax. Oh my, that don't those don't seem like good things to burn. A discrepancy amplifier, how would these most likely be used? Prior analysis suggests these herbs reach peak effectiveness when users burn them and inhale the resulting smoke. 
whether or not this increased effectiveness is good for an afflicted individual has yet to be determined. All right, let's make a note of that and move on. Interesting. Hmm. All right, what's this? Cards, headwear. Uh, I'll be there with you in a minute. Dissident Chapter 1. How have we read this one? Uh, Halcyon Helen battles a lingering foe in a seedy bar. I think I have. Um, yes, that's right. We have read this one. Okay. Well, that's it. Let's talk to her. Profit of profitability. My friend, there's no need for that kind of behavior. Oh, it's just a scanner. Calm down. Uh, you can't actually zap somebody with it. That's not the point. Fruitful and productive welcome, brother. I had a feeling you would visit me. No kidding. I offer a wide variety of productivity seminars. I hope you'll consider taking one. Ah, but I should remember my manners. To what do I owe the pleasure of the special inspector's arrival? Inspector who? I'm on vacation. No matter what anyone says, I'm doing here. Well, there's nothing quite as relaxing as a productivity seminar. We'll free you of those potential hampering humors in a heartbeat. Humors? I don't like it when people laugh at me. Worry not. With my seminars, even someone of your immensely low intellect can succeed. As science has taught us, the body is made up of two things, flesh and humors. These humors are semi-fluids that, when improperly balanced, may cause you to function inadequately. By signing up for my seminars, you can balance these humors for only mildly inordinate and repeat payments. Cancellation is subject to repercussions. Uh, this all smells pretty fishy. No, I assure you, we all bathe semi-regularly. That's probably just the compost heap we have our customers, oh, seminar visitees, Lion. Mm -hmm. It promotes freeing oneself from one's body. But of course, no one needs subject themselves to such repercussions if they don't cancel. Regardless, can I interest you in a seminar? Um, well, if I wanted someone peddling Sprat Oil, I'd buy a Spratwurst. Don't waste my time. Sprat Oil? You... That is. We understand your decision and respect it. But those humors will cling to you. You'll find success with my seminars, or a quarter of your money back. Regardless, I do understand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, you got some, uh, interesting herbs here. I'm pleased that you noticed. Excellent eye, brother. The compound they're treated with is my own invention. Designed to unlock an individual's true productive potential when burned. I can't say any more. Trade secrets, you know. You mean, like, killing them? Because they seem toxic. Toxic enough to potentially kill people. None of my clients have ever complained. So I'm sure they're perfectly safe. Is there anything else? Yeah, I followed your trail where you dumped something off in the wilderness. Oh, really? What did you find there? What did I dump? Um, you know, there was... Nothing there, but by its proportions, I'd say a body. That all sounds like hearsay, brother. Perhaps your humors are off balance and confusing your sense of justice. Perhaps you could use a seminar. I'm delighted to extend my desire to aid you, brother. How might I assist? Okay, well, word on the grapevine was they saw you dragging a human-shaped lump into your yurt. Who said that? I'll be sure to give them a special seminar on not needlessly implicating the person who puts food on their table. It was a bundle of clothing, brother. Even productivity geniuses need to do laundry from time to time. Uh-huh. Yet the herbs I found in here hint at a visitor. What are you hiding? I don't know why you seem to suggest I don't get others here, brother. Customers are my lifeblood. I had a visitor, yes, 
But as it turned out, some of my productivity techniques were too much for them. I had to drag them out by hand. But their peers came and collected them shortly thereafter. I'm sure whichever attendee it was is perfectly safe now. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to ask you some questions about Halcyon Helen. Please answer truthfully. Oh? I'm surprised. I wouldn't think the two of us would have much to discuss about her. Really? We may have had some terse interactions before her death, which I most certainly regret. But beyond those, well, never mind. What would you care to know? Hmm. Yeah, you and Helen didn't get along, I hear. I wouldn't necessarily say that. The media tends to exaggerate. I will admit that her remarks about my seminars were rather unfortunate. However, I certainly wouldn't sharpen any sabers over it, if that's what you mean to imply. I only do that when my clients skimp on their bills. Yeah, I bet. Did you contact Helen after you left the Grand Colonial? I did not. She had no interest in my seminars, and I had no interest in attempting to convert a stubborn actress. <laughs> Why would I have had any cause to engage with her further? Mm -hmm. Sure. Where were you at the time of Helen's murder? Why, I've been at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve for quite some time now, as my disciples can attest. In fact, I haven't visited the Colonial since I arrived several weeks ago. <laughs> Bad energies, you understand. Mm-hmm, yeah, not tabs you need to pay or something like that. Let's talk about something else. I hope you now realize that I had nothing to do with Helen's demise. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I, I still wanted to talk about the yurt. Who said that? It was a bundle of clothing, brother. Even productivity geniuses need to do laundry from time to time. Yeah, the quicker I get the truth, the faster I can leave you alone. Hmm, yes. I suppose the more quickly we get off this subject, the better. I had a visitor, yes. But as it turned out, some of my productivity techniques were too much for them. I had to drag them out by hand. But their peers came and collected them shortly thereafter. I'm sure whichever attendee it was is perfectly safe now. Sure. Okay. That's it. All right. Well, that was... I don't trust her at all. Uh, I almost feel like bringing Vicar here. Okay, well, where does that put us? Back at the... Ooh, what do we got here? The prophet's tent. I, I walked right past this. Uh, welcome. If you are in search of a seminar, please speak to the prophet of profitability directly. Uh, the messages on this terminal are private. Should you read them, your humors may be thrown off balance. Is your curiosity worth the loss of profit, profits? Absolutely. Ruth Bellamy. Oh... Uh, I've talked with my agents, and they've told... Oh, Prophet. This is from Ruth Bellamy. Uh, I've talked to, with my agents, and they've told me that what I said was about, about your seminars. Uh, reply, not talking, not taking them. Uh, actually lost you about 30% of your revenue for the next three months, uh, with further losses projected. When I say I wasn't much interested in attending, I really... I didn't really... really a little lot. I didn't really realize that it had hit you quite as hard as it did. Guess that's the price of stardom. Uh, everyone listens a little extra uh, to everything you said. Uh, I'm hoping, if you've got the space, that I might be able to attend one of your sessions today as a means of apologizing. I know that notice is short, but I'm hoping you can fit me in uh, without too much inconvenience. Ruth Bellamy. Well, that's interesting. Lee Whitaker. Hey, Prophet. Lee Whitaker here. Uh, wanted to ask how much, how that mix of herbs I sent you last uh, uh, has worked out. I was skeptical at first about using them for meditation purposes, but hell, uh, what do you know? What do I know about productivity? Yeah, uh, toxic chemicals. Uh, that said, be sure to remember what I told you. Don't cut the herbs asymmetrically. Hampers the texture. Uh, don't leave them out in the sun. And for law's sake, make sure you keep the smoke doses small. Uh, that thing you want is to accidentally send someone 
Last thing you want is to accidentally send someone into a coma, or worse, kill them. Be smart, Whitaker. Yeah, you're devoted attendees. Profit. The other attendees of tripling profits through transcendentalism. 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 Woof. And I have reconvened, uh, and we're all in agreement. Your seminars are simply top-notch, of course. We've seen a 0.5 increase in each of our businesses in total profits since we attended your seminar together. Of course, the price of material shipping and other costs involved in boils down to more than uh, a 1% increase. Point. 1% increase. Uh, but an increase is an increase. Uh, if you ever decide to visit Grand Colonial, you must, you simply must let us purchase a round of drinks. Uh, thanks to you, we certainly have the bits for it. Okay. So, Ruth came here. So, what do you got to say about that? Welcome back, brother. I'm delighted to extend my desire to aid you, brother. How might I assist? You said you had no further interaction with Helen before her death, right? Yes, that's correct. She made it clear that my seminars were of no interest to her. Really? So no messages from her or anything like that? Your tone of voice seems to suggest that you have information already. Which also suggests you've read my terminal. Clever work, Inspector. It seems even I can't slide my way out of the trap you've so intricately weaved. I admit it. I killed Helen. By mistake. What? Helen changed her mind and wanted to attend one of my sessions. I, knowing the importance of the seminar, desired to truly galvanize her. Though not to stop her heart. So when it came time... I chose to double Helen's dosage of productivity-enhancing herbs. I left her to meditate, and when I returned, she was dead. After that, I entered a... less than coherent state. One of my disciples, it seems, witnessed me as I dragged Helen's body out into the wilderness. Wait, the wilderness? You didn't dump the body on the Grand Colonial? Do you jest? The guests at the Colonial eat no shortage of strange things, but I think corpses are perhaps too strange. The creatures of the wilderness are much less picky. Besides, the hotel is ridiculously far. I couldn't have made it all that way without someone realizing I was dragging a corpse. Did you shoot the body at any time? Laws, no. I hate guns. If I ever wanted to kill someone on purpose, I would have used a blunt weapon. Nothing quite like clubbing someone over the head. Wow. And you were sure Helen was dead? I'm no medical professional, but that certainly seemed the case. Usually my customers at least writhe or mumble after a session. My productivity-enhancing herbs typically do induce sluggishness, but I suppose they must have been enough to do her in if her constitution was truly that weak. Okay, this doesn't explain the shot to the back of the head. And who took her to the grand ballroom? And who wrote B on the floor? And she got up after she had been unconscious for quite some time. So I actually don't think you killed anybody. Certainly not Helen. What? Is this some kind of joke? You're an inspector. It's your job to arrest me, isn't it? Yes, uh, but if Helen's body wasn't where you left it, she must have awakened and walked away. No, someone must have moved it after I killed her. One of my business rivals, waiting for me to fall into a false sense of security so they can strike. Hel Halcyon Helen's body was found at the Grand Colonial. She was killed there. I don't believe you. I think this is all a trick. You're trying to... to catch me in a lie. Get me to reveal my productivity secrets. No, look, the only thing you've done has been completely negligent. No, you can't trick me. I finally discovered what's happening. You've been paid off. 
Someone else learned that I killed Helen and is going to use that information to blackmail me. You think I'm going to let this injustice happen? Ha! Tell the constable that I killed Helen. It's a thousand times less miserable than whatever my enemies have planned. Okay, you are clearly up the wall. I'm not getting the dep I'm not getting the deputy or anyone else to falsely imprison you. You monster. What am I supposed to do now? They'll be here soon. And once they arrive, I'll be powerless. Powerless! I just want to go to prison. Is that so wrong? What? The heck? What has happened? What? Are you? She's nuts. Oh, wow. Okay, well, it's time to go back to Ludovico. So she overdosed Helen. But Helen didn't die. I think she didn't die. I think she did this first and then went to the Purpleberry Orchards. Or was it before? Oh, I don't know. Let's go. All right, while we're here, let's uh, let's go take a look at this note over here. Oh, we've got more evidence up here, don't we? Examine. Notice of unlawful equipment. This notice is attached to an object peripheral uh, personal belonging that exceeds or otherwise violates hotel regulations. Leaving this object on the hotel premises will result in a 500-bit fee per day of unlawful stor storage. At your earliest convenience, please remove this object, peripheral, or personal belonging, and pay any outstanding fees. Okay, that's kind of hilarious. Okay, so we've crossed... Oh, they're dead. Both of them died. We've been to these places. We found the data pads. Um, it seems like we've got a thing missing here, but maybe not. Uh, and we've been to Pirius. Pirius. We've got some data pads here. Oh, here we go. This board is covered with a loose collection of photographs and papers. Examine the board more closely. Uh, examine my suspects. Uh, something is rotten on Eridanos. With every step of your investigation, you come closer to the truth. So, who could have killed Halcyon Helen? What were their motives? Look at Bertie Holcomb. Black Hole Bertie, the whole meister, the hack attack. Bertie was dating Helen at the time of her death. Could the hot-headed hacker be the cold-blooded killer? Ooh, that's, that's solid right there. Examine the broken tossball stick. A ruined picnic at the Purpleberry Orchards. A, tospix, a tossball stick snapped in half. Were they arguing? Did Bertie lose control of his temper? Consider other suspects. Spencer Woolrich. Spencer Woolrich, the supporting actor of the colony's leading woman, was Halcyon Helen's old rival really responsible for sending her into retirement? Examine the shot, a shot of the hotel's security footage. You've discovered incriminating footage of the hotel kitchen. Uh, while Chef Anwar looks away, Spencer Woolrich can be seen tampering with Helen's food. Examine the invoice. A standard record uh, record of the special requests made by hotel guests included in the list a curious request of the terror ray gland on behalf of Spencer Woolrich. The request was fulfilled at the death of uh, some other some employees. Uh, let's take a look at Burbage 3001, uh, the most sophisticated acting auto mechanical since Burbage 3000. If an auto mechanical lacks sent sentience, can they truly be guilty of murder? Oh, uh, ooh, that's a, wow, okay. Or was Burbage 3000 merely an accessory? Examine Burbage 3000's prop gun. Repurposed weaponry of a common feature in the colonia, uh, colony's auto mechanicals. As an acting auto mechanical, Burbage 3001's equipment may frequently be upgraded or replaced to suit its roles. You learned that Burbage 3000's most recent upgrade was performed by Spencer Woolrich. Look at other suspects. The Prophet of Profitability. Jasmine Leva. Leva? Uh, the Prophet of Profitability, her sermons, seminars are on wealth, prosperity, and the alignment of one's humor attract wealthy Byzantines to Eridanos. Does the heart of a vicious killer lurk beneath their spiritual veneer? Her uh, seminar brochures 
What prevents you from unlocking your true potential? Natural talent, mental faculties, crippling anxiety? No, says Jasmine Liva. Your humors must be realigned with the profitable... I didn't read it fast enough. It's difficult to imagine why Helen might have held the profit in contempt. Uh-huh. Examine personal notes. The profit of profitability deploys a curious uh, bouquet of herbs in her therapy sessions. These herbs run a gamut from bizarre to the exotic. They... All share one quality. Their side effects are highly unpleasant and potentially fatal. Other subjects. Cedric Kirkannon. Cedric Kirkannon, Sublight Underground Boss, proprietor of the Grand Colonial Hotel and Piraeus Pire uh, Spaceport, administered Ludovico's old rivo, rival, uh, killer of Halcyon Helen? I don't know. I guess I don't have enough... Uh, uh, evidence. Examine the list of victims. Uh, the killers l on the loose in Eridanos. Uh, Ruth Bellamy, uh, universally known by her role of Halcyon Helen, Princess of Periodicals, and Duchess of Dramaturgy. Uh, Helen was killed in the Grand Colonial Hotel Ballroom, as far as we know. Dr. Blossom. Leora Blossom. Head of Research and RR&D Labs, located in the Purple Berry Orchards, Dr. Blossom, was under attack by her own technicians. During the chaos, an unknown assailant murdered her. You listened to her final moments over the intercom. We did. Constable Keene, and this is the saddest one, uh, Constable Maria Keene, uh, killed at her desk. The nature of her wounds is familiar to you. All of them were killed by the needler. Consider Eridano's atmospheric complex. After Helen's murder, authorities placed a lockdown on all incoming and departing uh, spacecraft. You are, as far as you know, the only exception. Uh, the Prophet's Retreat. Jasmine Le Leva, the Prophet of Profitability, holds a retreat in the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve not far from the hotel. Wealthy patrons are encouraged to enjoy the hotel's amenities. When... They're not busy purging themselves of harmful, unprofitable humors gathering inside the anatomy. Their anatomy, the Pyreus, 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 uh, spaceport, the business of sublight underground, uh, something of misnomer, misnomer, something of misnomer, a as sublight, um, underground's uh, operations are uh, about as high above ground as any location in Halcyon. Uh, look at the Purpleberry Orchards. The Purpleberry Orchards are responsible for growing and cultivating the Rizzo's proprietary purpleberry and an essential ingredient, ingredient in the majority of Rizzo's uh, stuff. Rizzo's workers seem uncomfortably happy all the time. Look at Rizzo's research and development lab. Uh, formerly operated by Leora Blossom, Helen's trail led you to the R&R &R d and lab um, when you arrived. Something had driven its lab technicians to a violent frenzy. Consider additional evidence. The model needler gun. This is an exact replica of the needler, Helen's signature weapon. You discovered traces of chemicals on uh, upturned luggage. On Helen's upturned luggage, someone removed the needler from her belongings. And now all I have is this toy. Uh, look at the bottle of Spectrum Brown. Spectrum Brown is the newest flavor of Spectrum Vodka or a disaster waiting to happen. At the bottom of each bottle lies the corpse of a parasitic life form guaranteed to enhance flavor and improve your mood. That's all the evidence we have. Okay. Cool. So this stuff ended up here. Oh, I want that needler super bad. So, who done it? Well, nothing left to do but talk to this feller. Inspector, I've just received word that Constable Keen is dead. Please tell me it isn't true. She was murdered in her office. Halcyon Helen, Leora Blossom, Maria Keen. There's a murderer on the loose, Inspector. You must stop them. I don't have Maria to count on anymore. So I'm counting on you. Whoever murdered her used the needler. The needler was among Helen's belongings. 
Whoever stole it must have been able to slip in and out of the hotel. Maria was my sole representative in Cedric's territory. The entire hotel staff is on his payroll. Any one of them could have killed her on his behalf. Was she important to you? Maria devoted her entire life to our vision. She was absolutely committed to our company, to our project. I promised myself I'd reward her after we launched Spectrum Brown. I'd make sure she was comfortable for the rest of her life. She was also our voice of reason. She was sensible, and I appreciated her advice. I never got to tell her that. Hmm. Let's change the topic. What can I do for you? I managed to track down Black Hole Birdie. I'm pleased to hear that. Birdie Holcomb is a valuable asset to the Rizzo's Rangers property. Of when Helen was murdered, Birdie was nowhere to be found. The timing of his disappearance is unfortunate. Birdie's something of a character, but he's harmless. I feel a bit bad for him, actually. Try not to feel too bad for him. Birdie is a brilliant athlete. The universe has balanced his talent by making him a slack wit. Uh, go easy on him, though. This is He just lost the love of his life. I don't understand what it was that Helen saw in Birdie. Whatever it was, she seemed to trust him implicitly. He was always on his best behavior around her. Or he tried. I'm not a heartless man, Inspector. I know that losing Helen must have shaken Birdie to his core. Be plain with me, Inspector. Do you believe Black Hole Birdie killed Helen? I really don't. Ah, I'm relieved to hear that. I happen to be something of a fan of the hack attack. I'd hate to see him processed for murder, but we need to be absolutely sure. I'd like you to continue your investigation. Notify me as soon as you're ready to make a formal accusation. By the way, Bertie agreed to stay at the Grand Colonial. I appreciate that. I'd rather keep Bertie within the public eye than let him languish in a bar at the docks. I'll make my report of your investigation into Bertie. Do you have anything else for me? I completed my investigation into Helen's poisoning. Excellent. I trust you have a name for our poisoner. Yeah, Spencer Woolrich confessed to the crime. Oh, I am disappointed. I'd always believed Mr. Woolrich a man of high character. It pains me to order the arrest and detention of someone I admired. I'd like you to continue investigating Helen's murder. You've found the poisoner, but her killer remains at large. Uh, I've looked into uh, Cedric for you. Closely, I trust. Tell me what you found. Well, I'm about to disappoint you. He's got an alibi. Of course he's got an alibi. He runs Sublight Underground. He probably starts his day by preparing half a dozen alibis. With that in mind, do you think Cedric was responsible for Helen's death? Hmm. Helen was making money for Cedric. I doubt he has motive for even killing her. No motive. That's disappointing. Because it's exactly the conclusion he'd want us to make. Unfortunately, even I don't have the authority to detain Cedric. His line of work is dangerous, though. There's always a chance for an accident. Sorry to disappoint you, Ludovico. He's alive and well. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I've already lost Dr. Blossom and Constable Keene, but at least Cedric's alive. The universe is a just place. Uh, the feeling is mutual. I finished my investigation in Jasmine Leva, uh, the prophet of profitability. Ms. Leva earned that title, but not for the reasons you'd expect. The profit business has been profitable for the hotel. Not so much for Ms. Leva's followers. So tell me, what did you find? Uh, she really, really wants to be arrested. She wants to be arrested? That's not the kind of behavior I expect from a suspect. Perhaps she's carrying a guilty conscience. Does the prophet strike you as a reasonable candidate for Helen's murderer? Um, I'm still considering my options, but no, I doubt she did it. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you for the update, Inspector. I'll include everything you've told me in my official report. I think I know who killed Halcyon Helen. I've been waiting for this. Tell me, Inspector, who killed Halcyon Helen? It was me. I did it. I killed Halcyon Helen. I should have stayed back on the ship with Ada. 
You know, boss, there are days I wonder how you made it this far without accidentally shooting yourself. Bold strategy, Captain. Let's see if it works out. It's astounding you haven't been the death of me, Captain. Sam says, let your auto mechanical do the dirty work while you keep your hands clean. Captain, I humbly stand in awe of your ability to surprise. This is impressive, even for you. And by impressive, I mean astonishingly ludicrous. I don't understand. What do you mean it was you? Well, st st statistically speaking, if somebody's dead, there's a good chance I did it. It's just basic statistics, you know. That's... I don't have the words to describe how astronomically moronic that is. All right, I'm going to humor you because you're, law help us all, the inspector. What possible motive could you have to kill Halcyon Helen? Professional rivalry. You know I'm Maverick Johnston's latest star, right? Ah, I didn't know that. Wait, no, I'm sorry. I'm not about to drag myself into your bizarre logic. You couldn't have killed Helen. You barely knew Halcyon Helen. She wasn't threatening your career or snooping around in your secrets. You see, those are serious, real motives. I don't know. Never really needed a motive to kill someone before. Of course you need a motive. A motive justifies your behavior. It's not murder if you don't have a motive. It's just senseless slaughter. You weren't even here on the night of the murder. How could you possibly have killed her in the ballroom? Uh, well, I would have programmed a mechanical. I hate getting my hands dirty. That is the most idiotic. Actually, wait. No. That's exactly what you'd do. Rewrite a mechanical's programming. Wait. Don't move a muscle. Someone's just tripped my alarm. And my security defenses. And killed my patrols. The distillery is under attack. Someone's after me, Inspector. I need you over here right now. Someone's trying to kill you? Well, don't let me get in their way. No, I don't think it's me they want. They're after what I'm protecting. Damn it. Someone's interfering with my transmission. Can you read the... Th uh, hello? So, you guys, should we help them out, or...? Whoever the real killer is, I got a feeling they're going after Mr. Ludovico. We need to catch up to him. Fast. I guess, if we have to. Getting kind of tired of kicking my heels up in the penthouse all day. Hmm. All right. I got nothing going on. We should definitely go. As for helping him, maybe we take the wait-and-see approach? From the depths of Terra 2 to the heights of Eridanos, there's no mess that your Sam unit can't unstick, unplug, or unsully. Think of this as an opportunity to teach Mr. Ludovico the importance of compassion. <laughs> compassion. Well, that is all the time we have for this video. I am super sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger, but I'm pretty convinced I'm the murderer because, you know, we're always surrounded by death. Um, things just die around me all the time. I don't know. It's possible. Or definitely Ludovico. If it's not me, then it's Ludovico for sure. And uh, someone's trying to get to him now. Maybe? What he said was something he protecting? I don't know. But in the next part, we will find out and surely squish some things. Because we like squishing things, don't we? If you guys like this video, slap the like button. If you want to see the next and probably finale to this series, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you know when it comes out. With that, I will see you guys in part 13. The, the dreaded 13 number. All right, see you there in probably a few seconds after an ad or two, maybe. Ooh. Oh.